Okay, so we're here in Motive Wave, and what we're going to do right now is we're going to set up a watch list in Motive Wave. Of course, um, you know, we just released our top 10 for 2016. And so in the spirit of that, showing you how to set these watch lists up in your charting software. So in Motive Wave, it's really simple. If you come up to pretty much any window, you'll see these little tabs, these little green plus sign plus a little tab. If you click it, it will give you this drop down. Now here you can select on chart, watch list, quote sheet. We want to select on the watch list. And that brings up this window. And you're going to notice that we've already got a couple of watch lists from last year. But we want to, well, you could go edit it. But instead of editing, we're going to create one from scratch. Just go down here to, to create. And let's name it. We'll go TSU Top 10 2016. Okay, and so we're going to hit Next. And then um, you can change the columns if you want, different columns in there. And then we'll hit Next again. And here's where you start adding the instruments. Now, to add the instruments, you're going to click on the little magnifying glass with a plus sign. Where If you hover over it, it says Search and Add Instruments. So we'll just click that. And here you can... Uh, search and, and find your uh, tickers that you want. So, you know, the first one in our watch list is Apple. So we'll type it in AAPL and then we'll hit search and there it is. And so we'll just add that to the list. Now we keep doing that same process. Click the search sign and you can add anything else that you want. So the next one is Amazon and then here it is. And so we'll add it. Now, what happens if you don't know the name of the or the ticker, I should say, of the company? Well, you could do it down here in the description. So for the next one, it's Disney. So let's just type in Disney. Instead of doing the symbol, if you don't know the symbol, you can type in a description, hit search, and oh, there it is. It's the third one down, DIS, New York Stock Exchange. That's it. And you hit OK. And so we're going to do this for all of our top 10. So we're going to go ahead and add FAS, which is the uh, financial ETF. And we'll add the new one, First Solar. So that one's in there now. OK. And then we'll just keep working our way through the list. Now I'm going to add gold, GLD. This is not actually in our top 10. This is actually a bonus. So if you count these when you're done, there's going to be 12. But uh, we always look at gold. So I'm going to add it to the list here. And uh, there's Home Depot. And uh, we're going to add Southwest. This is ticker symbol LUV. And uh, this is another new one that we've added this year. So we're going to add Southwest in there. And then Netflix, NFLX. And we'll just uh, put that in there. And then Starbucks, S-B-U-X. So you want to put that in there. And Silver, S-L-V. Now, again, Silver is not in our top 10. It's actually a, a bonus that we put in there. So you have 12 at the end of the day in this watch list. And then there's Target, T-G-T. So there's our top 10. Again, notice the total instruments are 12. And what we want to do is we want to hit Finish. Now, you can stop here. We'll, we'll hit Finish. It's now a watch list here. What if you want to add to it or if you want to edit another one? Uh, let's do that. So just highlight your watch list and let's click on edit. And when we do that, you have a choice. You can edit the way that it shows up. That's under the configuration tab. Or you can click on the instrument tab and now we can add instruments again. And the, the ones that I think we should go ahead and add are actually indexes. So we typically look at the Dow Jones Industrial which for bar chart, every dirt data service provider gives it a different ticker, which is really annoying. But for bar chart, which is my data service provider here, it's D-O-W-I. So we're going to type that in there. And we always use a dollar sign. That's the way the indices show up. And then we will um, we'll, we'll hit that and add it in there. Now, what if you didn't know that ticker symbol? Well, you could click on description and type. This is going to be an index. You could type in Dow. And uh, it will bring up all the Dow. So these are all the various Dow indices. And you could search through here and, wow, way down here, Dow Industrials. There you go. What if you wanted the Dow Transports? Well, there it is. It turns out it's Dow T. And uh, Dow Utilities is Dow U. So, you know, you can search for these if you don't know them. Now, the next one we want to add is the S&P 500. So th this one happens to be SPX in, in bar chart. But what if we didn't know that? Let's do uh, S&P. And let's search for that under indexes here. And uh, we're just going to, you know, kind of come down the list and, and uh, you'll find one that, that fits your description, which for us is going to be the S&P 500. And uh, where is that here? Now, there's so many S&P <laughs> indices that uh, it uh, gets overshadowed. It's S&P. It's, well, there's too many for me to look through here. I happen to know it's, it's SPX. So let's just do it because I, in the interest of time, it's SPX. 
dollar sign SPX, and we'll just add that. Sorry for the the delay. It's ticker. It's a symbol SPX. Uh, so there it is. So it's S and P 500 index. That was probably like at the bottom of that list. So sometimes you know if you have something that has a lot of variations, you know maybe the search isn't as efficient, but you know, if you don't know the ticker, that's a way you can come up with it. And then the final one we want to add is the NASDAQ, which is going to be NASX. Now, again, this is the, the bar chart servers. Um, the bar chart servers, uh, they, they use these particular symbols. Different servers do different tickers for the indices. The stock are all the same, but the indices, they have different tickers. Uh, you may have just noticed this error I got. I typed it in NASX, and then I hit search, and I got this error. Your query did, query did not return any results. The reason, look here, it's looking for stock. We need to go down to index, and then we're going to hit search, and boom, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to add that in there. And so now I've got uh, these, these um, three indices, and I like to put them at the top of the list, so watch what we're going to do. I'm just going to use the arrows and scoot it right up to the top of the list. You can highlight a um, either one or multiple tickers and scoot it to the top of the list just like that right there uh, let's see there's one more thing I want to add to this um, I like to put in the dollar index which in um, with bar chart happens to be ticker symbol DX so I like to use the do the the dollar oh sorry it's DXY uh, in trade Genesis it's DX sorry I get those confused DXY so there you see it right there, DXY, that's the U.S. dollar index. So I'm going to put that into the list. And you don't have to, but I always put it into my list. And then the other one that I put in here, uh, I usually put the cash Forex ticker for the euro U.S. dollar. And this one I actually have to look it up because I never remember the nomenclature that, uh, that they use for this. So let's, um, let's get rid of the spaces. No, that's not how they did it either. Well, let's just do this. We'll do euro. See, if you if you just don't know what their ticker is, the way they've nomenclated it, then you just have to start working through it. So here's the distinction. In bar chart, they use this little funky, I don't even know what you call that little arrow. Uh, so that's why I never can type it in. In Trade Navigator, they use the dollar sign. So that's what I type it in in Trade Navigator. So we're going to scroll through here until we see uh, euro USD. Now I'm remembering looking at this. It's been so long since I set up a watch list. You know, I get them set up and I forget. But uh, there it is. Euro USD. It turns out there's no spaces, no ha hyphens or anything. It's just that little squirrely symbol uh, right there. And uh, here it is, Euro Forex versus the US dollar. Euro USD. And I put that in my list. And so, um, you know, you can choose if you want to put it in. You can put it at the top. That's usually where I put it. But if you want to put it at the bottom, you can. And, and that's the way I set my watch list up. So in the end, I actually have 17. This is our basic, um, you know, TSU Power Trader watch list. And then that's done. T Trade Smart Top 10 2016. Now, what happens is if you click on open or you double click it, it will bring up that watch list. And, and here are all the, the stocks that we look at in every Power Trader along with the quotes and everything. So, you know, that's, I just opened it up. It opens up part of the same window. If you want to move that around, just click on the tab and uh, you can actually put it at the top like that right there. You can resize it, all sorts of great things that you can do. And that's beyond the scope of this video. But there you have it. There's your top 10 for 2016 complete watch list along with quote data. And again, all these little columns, the ask, bid, all that stuff. If you want to edit that, go in here to the little tab, click on watch list, highlight your watch list, hit edit, and that's what this configuration is all about. So let's say you want to get rid of the bid and the ask, uh, the size maybe. We'll just get rid of that. So bid, size, get rid of that. And um, you know maybe you want to add in, if you have positions, you can add those in there, but, but maybe you want something over here. Just look through the list, see if there's something you want to add in. Maybe you want to add volume. So you put that over there, then you hit OK, and you save that, and now it's going to be in our list. So that's how you set these watch lists up in Motive Wave. I hope this has been helpful for you, and I look forward to seeing you in some power traders and trading through this top 10 this year in 2016.